Welcome to Hobby Sound. My name is Corey Ableton, certified trainer and frequent email messer. I had no idea the drift was coming out, but I've been playing around with it for the last two days. And I figure, you know what, instead of talking about how great it sounds and how amazing the stereo field is, why don't we actually look at it using the Oscilloscope 2.0 Max for Live free plugin that is free for the plugin. <laughs> Basically what we have here is we have an instance of drift and then I have just put the oscilloscope on a return channel, set that return channel to sends only so we don't hear it. And then basically I'm just using the gain here to basically get a bigger picture. Really, really blast that thing, you know? Uh, drift, I feel like is such a great, obviously sound design tool in that it is very, very simple and very straightforward. Yet with this whole drift action we have going on here, these different modes here, specifically the stereo mode, very, very easy to get those lush sort of Juno 106. Yeah, boy. I mean, just listen to that. Like with the stereo on, if we just go back to poly and turn off the drift. I mean, it sounds cool. But we crank that stereo, we crank that drift, bro. Batman. Let's draw with this, because this is such a great little synth to be able to use oscilloscope stuff with. Because again, it's just very simple with the two oscillators and noise generators. So if we, let's set a more reasonable envelope here. So we're just on the first oscillator. We are on sine wave. If we turn the stereo up, turn that drift up, we're gonna start to get some shapes here. Oof. I feel like using drift in this plugin and because these are both free, this is a great way to just make yourself some like custom visuals or really just like, I mean, if you have a projector and weed's legal, dude. So let's go back down. Ooh, yeah. So as you start to play with the shape here, and again, adjusting the drift is going to see we have like kind of multiple lines, but also they're kind of moving around each other. And what about unison? So I think our, let me go into the mod source here. I, we got some stuff going on somewhere. Oh, envelope Pull two up. is modulating the shape. And right now that envelope two is looping, which kind of just turns it into an LFO that you can shape right here. I think that's a really nice addition. Again, we turn the stereo up, that drift. Oof. That almost looks like 3D, right? Whoa. <laughs> that's sick. Okay, and that's just on, I feel like sine waves might be the way to go when drawing. like a quantum picture frame. One thing too, so using the filter here, which I mean the filter in this thing is pretty, it's pretty good. So maybe we go to the mod source. Again, I just love how simple this is laid out. So we do envelope two and then set that to, yeah, the low pass frequency, which is gonna be this guy right here. 
and then we get that frequency down and then we crank that resonance because we like to party Whoa. Just as a little sneak peek to uh, Drift, and if you're part of the public beta, you can get this right now. Again, I'll link to all the oscilloscope free Max for Live plugins down below. Please go check them out. Um, it's a lot of fun. And also, if you're just like, I don't know if this is a something for if you have writer's block or just don't feel like making music, like why not make some shapes? So hope you had fun on this one. I know I did. I will catch you in the next video. Be sure to hit the thumbs up, do the subscribe, check out the Patreon if you want one-on-one -on -one lessons, funthingsfunlife.com, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.